Resident Evil 4. We're on chapter 1-3 on Professional, playing on the Xbox, AA, Gamer for Life. Okay, at the end of chapter 2-3, we run up the hill and we enter the castle. Okay, there's a, quite a bit of loot around here, so uh, make sure to grab everything. But then we're going to use the typewriter, save the game, and this is uh, where we get to upgrade almost everything. Um, so after we get all the loot around here, I'm going to save the game, and then I'm going to sell everything. The pistol, shotgun, oh, everything but the TMP, and uh, the sniper rifle, and whatever treasure I've uh, accumulated up to this point. Get all that money together, and then buy, our, you know, we got a new... Uh, case to buy, we can buy a new pistol, new shotgun, and a sniper rifle. So we get all that, and then from this point on, the sniper rifle, the pistol, and uh, those particular items are going to be kept, <coughs> kept all the way to the end of the game. So we're going to, you know, upgrade them as we can. Uh, we're going to, you know, not just jump into buying all the upgrades at once while it's available it's like the sniper rifle I usually will wind up uh, upgrading last because I want to make sure that I uh, got enough money when the striker shotgun comes available and that's uh that's a little ways down into the castle uh, before we uh, deal with Salazar Okay, time to sell off all this stuff now. Okay, previous in the, the previous videos, I mentioned how combining the treasures uh, for these two items, you know, they're both worth 20000 a piece, so that's a, a nice chunk compared to if you sell off each individual piece for like two or 3000 a piece. But, uh, so that's a nice little payday. Uh, this is all the treasure we've been collecting over the last chapter or so. Shotgun. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. Now it's time to buy. Large case. Treasure map. That's my pistol right there. Is that old stranger? Right, shotgun for sure. Okay, now this weapon will get sold off a little bit later when the striker comes available, so I'm not going to really throw any upgrades as far as uh, damage or reload speed. Uh, I just will buy like capacity if I get short on shells, and uh, so that's always a good thing to do. But you're going to need the sniper rifle later in the game, so it's like I'm going to get it now. There'll definitely be times where 
uh, it'll be helpful. Get a little room first here. Yeah, about halfway through the castle, the larger case will come available. Unfortunately, we got a good distance to go, so we're going to just have to deal with it. I suppose it's very possible that you could have kept the original shotgun and uh, just kept it till the striker was available. Uh, even though the riot shotgun does do a little more damage, it's very possible you could have made do with that shotgun. But uh, I like the riot shotgun, it's just my thing. So, anyway, uh, that's the shoulder stock for the TMP, and I like having that as well. Uh, just a gamer's preference. Kind of regretting not uh, trying to make room for the mine thrower. You can see where that would have uh, been helpful. It just with the space the way it is, just not a lot of room. Okay, so. The black tail we're going to use the whole game, so definitely throw money at that, and obviously the TMP. Okay, I'm not putting any money on that, so. Okay, I'm going to pretty much just go right down the board with this one. Uh, exception of the capacity, going to come back later for that once I empty out the rounds. That's going to about do it. We are ready to roll up into this castle now. Go ahead and save the game with all our stuff. Go ahead and put the shoulder stock on my TMP here. I like it because now you got like a shoulder view instead of him shooting from the hip. Alright, double A gamer for life. That's the beginning part of uh, chapter 1-3. We will see you on the next part.